Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a completely new show. I'm going to start reacting to Avatar The Last, Last Airbender. Uh, this is book one which I'm guessing uh, means that this, this is season one and I really have no idea about what this is. I used to like you know um, see this being played on TV when I was you know when I was uh, younger and uh, it came on Nickelodeon and I never had you know like I never checked it out and even after watching anime for so long I never checked it out again so now that I'm doing YouTube yeah I found content so let's react start reacting to this I have heard a lot of good things about this show and I'm really looking forward to this um okay so I'm sure like a few of you guys are new to my channel so I'm going to give a little bit of an introduction that is like uh, like I react to uh, anime as like you know as timer reactions I do not do the usual like you know how the other reactors do kind of like cut it you know and uh, like uh, you guys can understand what I'm trying to do to, to avoid copyright now um, I'm sorry about like uh, so that's why I have to like you know mute the whole audio heavily edit the video but there are no cut like the whole episode will be given and my whole reaction to the episode will be given so it's like a complete raw reaction without any editing in between but the only disadvantage is there will be no like you know no audio and the video will be a little bit kind of like blurry you know so like uh like i do this because obviously i'm a new youtuber and i do not like with the sheer amount of video that i post every day i do not have enough time to edit it and i don't have an editor either so like there was once like my channel almost uh, like got three strikes and after that i decided to kind of stick to timer reactions so that's only one thing like I'm, i like i tell everyone whenever like the, whoever is new to my channel that i do timer reactions and there'll be no audio so yeah that's just it and uh, yeah and also i think this is um i'm guessing that this is like the like it is not japanese this is english so there'll be no subtitles i'm not sure if i will be able to follow it because like you know like i'm kind of accustomed to seeing subtitles and hearing japanese so i might kind of like you know feel it a little bit difficult in the beginning but i'm sure i'll get accustomed to it so yeah that's another thing i'm kind of concerned about let's see you know and uh, yeah i'll do oh, also another thing i'll do two episodes per week these uh this day every week i'll do two episodes so that's how we are going to go so yeah that's just it that's my like little uh <laughs> intro so if you guys are interested in like you know if you guys enjoy my avatar reactions be sure to check out the upcoming episodes every week as well so i'll stop talking and start the video so yeah guys uh, without further ado let's get started with the first episode of after the last airbender this is book one so i'm guessing season one so yeah so um i'll be putting the timer here and there will be a little like you know uh blurred uh, like video over here which uh, you can kind of like you know sync either sync either the timer or sync uh, your video that you'll play alongside me to that video uh for convenience so yeah uh, let's get started all right so let's start the countdown here we go three two one go water okay excuse me oh wow this is the Oh, the avatar keep balance. Okay. Oh. Wow. Vanished. Oh. Oh, so they're air.
Okay, so that means. Oh my god, I don't know what happened. Oh, okay, so that means uh, the Fire Nation is, is the bad guys here, I'm guessing. And all the, all the other like nations are fighting against them. Yeah, that must be it. And the Avatar is like the master of all the um, elements. The narrator is this girl, I'm guessing, the, the girl... Katara. This is a fish. Oh my god. I oh wow so is she like the water element she said something about air <laughs> yeah <laughs> water bending so she's from the water type <laughs> oh no, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Okay, this is Yeah, you're going to crash. Oh my god, it's a constraint. Oh no. Oh my god, they're stranded on an iceberg. <laughs> oh wow! Oh my. <laughs> Big brother. Oh. oh damn, what's happening? Oh no. <laughs> Katara, there's something happening behind you. <laughs> oh god. Damn. Whoa. Wait, she did it? Oh damn, okay, I did not expect that. What the? What is this? <clears throat> Some kind of iceberg? Oh damn, oh this is the main character, We like like, obviously, like, I, I know his appearance because he's so popular. I think his name is Ang, isn't it? <laughs> wow, is he meditating inside the iceberg or something? Like, he's kind of like, you know, sitting down. Whoa, damn, steam. So there's air inside. And obviously there needs to be air inside. Otherwise, why will... How can someone survive? <clears throat> wow. Oh. Who's... <laughs> okay. Prince Zuko. What is he playing?
Whoa! So he is the avatar. That that person who is inside the iceberg. Whoa! Oh damn! Okay. Ha! <laughs> what the? He's locking his head. <laughs> oh, he's quite uh, short. What? What? Pe Penguinson? What's that? Oh damn, he, he, he's floating! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> oh, there's something else inside! Appa! Oh, wow! Oh, what is this? <laughs> Oh no! Oh, what is this? Some kind of... Oh, he also has this sign that uh, um, uh, he has. Uh, I, think, I think his name is Ang, isn't it? Flying? <laughs> oh! Damn! Oh! Katara has more work to do now. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the evil look. <laughs> Saka. Is that how he gets his name? Wait a minute, that would be funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, Airbender. <laughs> okay, where? Well, how will you go? Okay, he has airbending power, he can help them. Oh, Appa can fly! Okay, there you go. <laughs> Snot monster. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go. Does she? F does he fly? Oh wow! Oh, he's not flying. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure like he, he has not come out for quite a long time, so it's a bit awkward, you know? Like it happens. Oh, this is... What was his name? Zuko. <laughs> Prince. Oh. Oh. Coward. You you you, have, you haven't even met him. What?
Oh. New people that knew him. Okay. He has this, um, what do you call it? Those arrows in his hand also, like in his head, in his hand, and also on the bison. Oh damn, it's a thunderstorm! Or oh, maybe not, it's a dream. Okay. Oh! Oh, what? Wow. Is he getting some kind of premonition? There's some... Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Amazing! Oh, wait, did he? Yeah, yeah, his legs even have those. <laughs> oh, this is the village? Small village. Oh, wow. Entire village, Ang. I don't bite. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, okay. Grand Grand. Whoa! Damn! Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. But a glider scan. <laughs> An airbender scan, I guess. Nice. He doesn't need even the air current. He himself can provide the air current to fly. You know, that's very handy. Oh, okay. <laughs> you should probably keep your eyes in front <laughs> while gliding. Oh, that... Is, it, is this sand? Yeah, this is sand, isn't it? <laughs> Poor Saka. Oh my god. So, none of the other villages are... I'm guessing they don't have the water bending power? Only, only Katara has? Hmm. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh. Oh, these are firebenders. These are firebenders. Aren't they the enemy? That means. Maybe maybe they're rebels or something. Who knows? Whoa. Basics first. Hmm. Yes. Whoa. Uh. Basics first. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Need to eat first. That's the. F well, they're water benders, so they can. I'm guess can they can. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're in the war. Yeah. Everyone. 
<laughs> I knew this was coming. <laughs> Oh. Ha. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. Well, he was in the iceberg, so What the that's not a penguin? What is that? A penguin and a seal? There's a fusion of a penguin and a seal, isn't it? At least it looks like one. Or a walrus. What is that? Sorry, I'm bad with animals. Oh yeah, he wanted to go uh, penguin surfing or whatever he said. Can airbenders teach waterbender? Yeah. Okay. The only. Oh. Oh, this is, is this a South Pole? Oh, I was thinking those were sand. Those were eyes. Oh yeah, this is eyes. Okay. Yeah, she'll have to leave. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, there you go! Oh my god, they're gonna eat him now. <laughs> oh, this is penguin surfing? Wow! So it's a legit thing, I was thinking he was just kind of, you know, like saying for the sake of it. Haha! <laughs> True. I don't know why I thought these things are sand. Like they were literally like in front of a glacier. <laughs> like you know my brain works weirdly. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, the flag is also. Booby trapped. Oh, wow. Okay, this is spooky. Damn, something might jump scare them. <laughs> oh god. What are these weapons? Yeah. Damn. Oh. Yeah. So he really is the avatar. Like, you know, they said that he disappeared when the fire nation attacked. Yeah. Yeah. So 
Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this place is not okay. Yeah. Oh no, booby trap! Oh god! Now what? Oh damn! Some kind of... Oh yeah. Damn, the flare. Oh, you can go up. And can fly, so... Oh damn, that's... Zuko must be seeing this. Isn't it? I, I think this is Zuko, isn't it? There you go. Old age? Oh, great. To be continued. Wow. Okay, um, that was a solid first episode, I have to say. Uh, and, um, like, I thought I would have more problem kind of following because I'm not accustomed to, you know, only listening. Like, I usually, like, you know, read the subtitles and listen at the same time, so. Um, it, like, I did not find it, like, you know, like, it, it's quite easy to follow. I have to say, they were kind of, like, you know, like, I, I, like, I thought that maybe, like, you know, I won't be able to follow their, um, uh, you know, like, English speaking. Because I, myself, like, obviously, I'm, I'm not a na native English speaker. So, is that the end? Yeah. Okay, that's the end. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I myself, I'm not a native uh, English speaker, so I was thinking maybe I'm going to have difficulty following it. Uh, thankfully, uh, nothing that sort of uh, nothing like that sort happened, and I was pretty like you know easily able to follow. And uh, all right, so the first episode. Now uh, the informations that we have. Mm, are that um, the avatar he was like he is the person who has um, mastered all the elements so wind uh, water fire and earth isn't it yeah these four elements so he is like the master of all so like there was this avatar who disappeared before the um, war started so and the fire nation attack so obviously like the fire nation is the um enemy here i'm guessing now one thing we met um i think his name is prince zuko wasn't it now he is a firebender so i'm guessing like now this can go either two ways either he is a rebel you know like either he's a rebel of the fire kingdom or he is really one of the fire kingdom people and he really is here to to uh, i'm guessing attack the uh, avatar so my bet is he is probably a rebel you know why because like his like we can see one thing that his goal here is to go and uh, capture the avatar he said nothing about you know uh, uh, you know fi fighting a war or nothing about like attacking the water people who are with you know uh, Ang and he didn't even say anything about killing Ang so I'm guessing he has some other um, intention some other uh, goal which probably involves nothing like you know uh, like which probably does not involve any kind of attacking other nations so i'm guessing that's why like i said that maybe he is a rebel or something you know and another thing he is a prince <laughs> now this is like one of the um i don't know like you know tropes that we see in a lot of animes and a lot of shows that usually the prince of the so like you know of, of, a, of a country who is at war with some other country usually gets exiled and they are kind of rebels 
Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I usually find this thing in a lot of shows. I've like seen this kind of thing where usually like as we see, like the uh, fire, like uh, nation is kind of attacking and like waging war on all the other nations. So because he is a prince of the fire nation and he and he's alone on a ship with a few of, uh, you know, of his people, I'm guessing he's a rebel. <laughs> I don't know. I might be completely wrong. Uh, like uh, we're, we're going to see uh, the next episode after this. So my like my suspicions, uh, like you know my um, what do you call it? Like yeah, it will be answered. My question will be answered. I'm sure about it. So let's just wait for it. And it was a nice start, I have to say. Um, Ang is quite entertaining. I, I <laughs> like you know he is quite entertaining. Very like you know. Uh, funny and uh, what can I say like an uplifting upbeat kind of a personality is quite uh, you know um, positive yeah and uh, <clears throat> yeah and now another thing is like um, the after is supposed to be the uh, uh, you know the master of all the elements so if he is the after why does he know only airbending like that's one question I have now like from the uh, like the start as like katara said that like i have still not given up hope that one of the like you know that i'll find a airbender now his like her um like you know like so another thing that we got to uh, learn here is the airbenders have also vanished so according to her she thinks that if i find an airbender maybe that will be the avatar um uh most probably that is something that he she is thinking and that is probably correct because you know ang is like the only airbender that we see even though this is like the first episode we might meet some uh, other airbender in the future episodes i don't know but still up until now he he is the only like you know one airbender that everyone knows so yeah maybe katara's suspicion is correct like he is the avatar now obviously like i'm saying like he is the avatar because <laughs> like of a big thing the, the biggest reason is like because the name of the show is avatar so like you know like obviously i'm thinking that yeah he must be the avatar because he's the main character now and all, all the other people are also saying that ah he is the avatar Z princess uh, zuko also said that uh he's the like he's the avatar um and uh, like because all, all of these things i'm saying like like we can tell that he is probably the avatar and even though he is even if he is not the avatar now he might become the avatar in the future uh, i'm saying like uh, like you know like he is not probably not the avatar now because he only has airbending skills so maybe he'll have to master all the other uh, you know all the other elements as well so is that how you become an avatar i'm guessing Maybe that's it. Who knows? And uh, yeah, uh, we met a few uh, like you know uh, quite uh, quite a few characters. Uh, not much and not even less. Like it's like uh, five or six new characters. Uh, the main characters being Ang, um, Katara, and what was Katara's brother's name? Um, Saka, wasn't it? Saka, Prince Zuko, <clears throat> the uh, master of Zuko, the person who was training him, him and the grandma like these are like the only characters i'm guessing who will who are important i don't know if the uh, some other characters will get importance later on for example all the other ca like you know water bender uh no, not water bender sorry all the other water tribe people like some of them might get a f future you know big role so <clears throat> let's just wait for it and yeah and also another thing is like so there's another uh water bending um tribe in the north pole this is the south pole i'm guessing so the north pole and uh it's like you know like um it's interesting that i don't know so like there was a map given here wasn't there just a sec at the beginning of the show um just a sec okay here we go yeah we have a map here uh the map shows okay here we go they are also color coded that's easy now there's like these two like i'm guessing the north pole and the south pole which are, is blue colored i'm guessing they're the water tribe very less area they have i have to say the biggest 
it's the earth i think like it has the biggest area that it's covering so the earth tribe has the biggest um you know like land the fire nation is similar to the water like you know uh, nation in terms of area it's only one little island not little but a big island but you know it's like uh, like just an island and the white colored mountains i'm guessing these are the where the air nation lived and they are extinct now so maybe you know so the biggest area is the earth nation and i think they were kind of saying like they were gone like you know uh, uh, the earth uh, nation are like you know fighting the war against uh, the fire nation and all the other nations are helping them uh, all the other nations being only the water nation because the air nation is uh, extinct so the water nation as, as i said like you know like our fathers have gone to aid the war so i'm guessing uh, the water nations like you know the 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 men and the women of who are like warriors in the water nation they have went to the earth nation to help them fight against the air, uh, wa uh, fire nation something like that i'm guessing so yeah and we also met uh, the bison the flying bison we still don't know if it can fly like i is saying that it can fly so i'm guessing it can fly but you know <laughs> uh yeah like i would love to see a you know bison flying <laughs> yeah and uh ah, yeah and, and, and in the end they go to this uh like uh broken ship the ruins of a ship uh which is uh, from the fire nation and they get booby trapped in and Ang gets to know that he is probably sleeping. He was probably sleeping throughout the hundred years, and a lot of things happened without him knowing. So yeah, and in, in the end, we see Zuko kind of like catch, uh, like you know, finding Ang, and probably Zuko is going to try to, you know, capture Ang. Ang, uh, his name is Ang or Ang? I think Ang, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, Zuko is probably going to try and capture Ang. So yeah, let's see. Let's start with the next episode. Um, this was ep uh, episode number one uh, of uh, after the last Airbender. So yeah, let's get started with the next episode. So excuse me. <coughs> All right, let me just like put it. There we go. All right. So um, after the last Airbender, uh, episode number two. Let's get started. So. As always, the timer will be given here. You can sync it to the video that you're playing. So, yeah, I'll start the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Damn. Previously on Avatar. Hmm. <laughs> I have a flying bison. All right, another thing. 
will Aang also need to learn the other elements because you know he, he's an avatar I'm guessing so <laughs> uh, weird thing this still works the whole booby trap like it's been a quite a few years well they're booby traps so i'm guessing they would work you know like it's not that they're powered by electricity you know <laughs> so yeah all right let's see Oh no, they, they'll know that they get what, like, in, inside. Yeah. Oh my god, no! Boom. <laughs> Oh god. Saka. Yeah, he's he's a airbender. Like that's a Oh, and that also. <laughs> Maybe you can. <laughs> Okay. Uh. <laughs> yes. Mm. Well. He brings out the family card. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Appa. Oh, what's his name? Appa or Oppo? Oh. Huh. Damn. Oh no, what will Zuko do? He's coming this way. Great. P, go! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he needs to pee, he needs to go pee, like, how will he fight? You know? Mm. Okay, thank god he's still here. Like, I was thinking what would happen if he went away and Zuko came in. That would have been a mess. Okay, there you go, he's still here, thank god. Damn, Appa has a nice... Oh, is this a war paint? Yeah. Damn. This looks cool. Oh, Zuko is also getting armored up. Wow. He's full armored, like, you know. Oh, 
Oh god. Yeah. Damn. What's happening? What is this tremoring that's happening? Oh damn! They they brought the whole ship in. Oh god! They can completely like crush them. That huge ship! I did not. Oh my god! I did not think this ship was this big. Um, I think you should. Okay. Well, it stopped, thankfully. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't think you should have. Oh, God. Oh, God damn, what the? No, he, he's not a master of all elements. What the? Come on, Saka, stop! Oh, damn, that could have got him. Oh, it might come back. Um, you're wide open, dude. That's not how you fight. Oh, damn. <laughs> Breaking it. Yes, coming back. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. It's a boomerang, so it's gonna go. Oh, God. He's pissed. And he's here with his penguin. Whoa! Damn. <laughs> okay, that's embarrassing. You know, being a prince and... Oh, damn. The penguin does not like it. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, you know what? We can see Aang's actual powers now. Whoa! <sighs> yes. Oh damn, the... The heat from his... It melted this... So... Yeah... But you don't have the basics. Your master tried to teach it, but... You are too impatient. Oh, wow. Okay. As I said, like... Like, it seems as if he is a bad guy, but I don't feel he is the bad guy. Like, I'm talking about, uh... Zuko. Like, you know, he never harmed the villagers. That kind of shows that he has some other... other intentions. Like... You know what I'm trying to say? 
I don't think he is the you know the the guys who are the actual like enemies who are actually waging the war. I'm sure like Z Zuko has some other you know plan or something. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> oh no, Granny is here. Oh! Damn! <laughs> hmm. yeah true you know oh yeah he's here what's his name forgot appa <laughs> what? Oh, maybe not. Maybe he really is. Okay. But the like, one thing we can say, Zuko is probably not as bad. Like you know, he never harmed the villagers. That's one thing that, and he kept his promise. <laughs> oh, they're not falling for your provocations. Sneeze. Oh, damn! Whoa, damn! Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Great. Wait, wait. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of voice recognizing? Yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, it is really like voice recognition. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't you fall off. Okay, so the word magic words are yip yip. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> Blow them away. Oh, <laughs> ah. wow. Nope, won't work. Yeah, he got. Amazing! That was great! Oh. Oh, hello there! Can you help me find my stuff? <laughs> Is that the stuff? Yeah. Oh, it was trapped. Now I can unleash my full power. Ang. 
Like Aang will unleash his full power now. Let's go. He could not do it because like you know there were villagers behind him. Oh! He's nimble! Obviously because he's an air <laughs> Oh god! Whoa! <laughs> okay, come on! <laughs> wow! Okay, blindfold him or do whatever! Yeah, there you go! And whack him now! Okay! Oh! Yeah, he really did whack him! Damn! <laughs> okay, where is he? Wow! That was easy! Very easy! You're... Okay, he, he's out! Okay, damn! <laughs> Zuko! Come on, don't fall! Oh! Okay, this is a problem. Oh. Alright. Oh, there you go. Appa's here. That's my flying bison. Okay. Oh no! His stuff! Okay, oh no. Wait, he can use his... Oh, is this a premonition that he got? Yeah, 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 in the previous episode! So he has this kind of like a premonition power. Wow! Damn! Is he waterbending or is that... He's waterbending! What the hell? Okay, so he does know all the other elements. Yeah! So, like, when he's conscious, he only knows airbending, but I'm guessing when he, like, you know, becomes, gets in this state, he kind of is able to use the other elements as well? Yeah. Oh god! That was a jump scare! God damn! <laughs> got the taste of your own medicine! Oh no. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> Still? <laughs> oh my god, what the? All right, let's go. <laughs> He's just having his nap. <laughs> there you go. What? Whoa! Okay, come on, Ang. Yeah, use your. Whoa! That was nice. Oh God! Yeah, they're going to get. Wow, this is amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> They're heating them up. Does he even realize that he did that? Yeah. Okay, he realizes it himself. 
He didn't. Oh, he knows. Yeah, a, a lot of responsibility. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Priorities. All right, let's go then. First the llamas. <laughs> Wow, that was great. Is that the end? Yeah, that's the end. <coughs> <coughs> All right, let me just check if there's something. No, there's nothing. All right, so yeah, that was the end. All right, um, fantastic epi episode. I have to say, this is like the second episode. I really love this. The way, like, the animation was so smooth. I, I, it was so great, I have to say. And, um, <clears throat> like, you know, like, um, it's an interesting, so, uh, a few things we got to know this episode here. First of all, uh, I was, I, like, I thought at least, like, maybe Ang only knew, um, airbending. And he would have to learn water bending, uh, earth bending, and fire bending. To become an avatar and i thought maybe this will be like you know their journey to do that uh or something like that turns out that he it's not that he only knows air bending he knows i'm guessing he also knows fire bending and earth bending uh, just as we saw him water bending the only thing is that he's not mastered it like that's basically it so that means like uh this will probably be you know them kind of uh like obviously katara will also learn <coughs> water bending in the north pole uh, as they are saying that they're going to go to the north pole and like uh ang will also i'm guessing uh, learn with her alongside her and master uh water uh, bending so yeah and uh, so it's going to be something like that you know they're going to like you know <clears throat> learn train and then they're going to become strong enough to uh, fight against the fire benders <clears throat> now Another thing I have to say here is, um, like, I thought maybe Pr Prince Zuko is like one of the rebels or something. <laughs> I kind of said it in the, like, you know, in the discussion of the previous episode, after the previous episode ended. Uh, probably it's not something like that. He, most probably he is, uh, you know, one of the fire bend, like, you know, uh, like one of the people of the fire bending nations. He is the enemy. Now, like, I thought maybe he is not like the other firebenders because it seemed he was reasonable enough. He talked with the others, especially the villagers. Like, he made a promise that he won't harm them and he did not do that. He's not like one of those, like, you know, uh, like war hungry people who are just like, yeah, kill, 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 kill. Nothing like that. Uh, as far as I could say, he <clears throat> just wanted Ang here and he got him. So he said that, okay, I, I won't do anything to them. And also like we could see like he did not actively try to harm like, you know, uh, the villagers. He kind of like, like took the grandma, what was his, what was her name? Grand Grand. Took Grand Grand and kind of dragged her and then like again, like returned her to uh, back to them. And uh, like he could have taken any hostage, you know, he could have taken any hostage and said that, oh, and come with us. He did not do that. So that's why I like my impression of him is kind of neutral because of that. Like it seemed like he is a reasonable enough guy. And who knows, maybe he has some circumstances. And the reason why I'm saying that most probably he is one of the enemies because he said something about his dad, like, you know, like, uh, like go, um, you know, like inform this to dad now <clears throat> like he is the prince so that means his dad must be the king so him being uh like you know connected to the king means he is no rebel at least that's how i am seeing this 
Oh, maybe one thing. Um, you know, uh, uh, in the in the first episode, like uh, Z Prince Zuko said that uh, like all my like ancestors, they tried to find the avatar, but they did not. But that won't. Uh, like I don't have a choice like that because my he said something about his uh, reputation or something like hanging by the thread and he has to find the avatar so I'm guessing something must have happened with him and his dad or something and he maybe made some kind of promise to and said that like yeah I will find the avatar and will bring him with me like you know made something some kind of promise like that maybe something like that happened that's why he is so trying to like you know trying to find avatar and bring him back i'm not actually sure excuse me so yeah i'll keep my like you know i keep uh what can i say like my decision like you know to judge him later like i'll judge him later on as like I, we barely have any information about him so i cannot say if he's a good guy if he's a bad guy or if he is one of those like you know uh complicated people who are kind of in the middle of it in the gray zone so when we get more information i'll be properly able to kind of you know judge his character what type of a character he actually is so i'm keeping that aside now my impressions of the other characters ang katara and saka yeah pretty good now ang obviously he's a happy like you know happy kid he is like one of definitely one of the strongest and <clears throat> he's positive he's up uh, uplifting upbeat and he's kind and he like you know he tries to protect his friends obviously and something like that and he is like uh, the main character Katara, he she she's an ambition she has an ambition to uh, learn water bending and also to find the avatar and he she thinks that ang is the uh, like you know avatar he has a lot of faith in him even though she met him for the first time obviously because i'm sure like he she has heard so many tales of the avatar coming and saving the world so i'm sure he's kind she's kind of like you know uh, thinking something like that and after seeing ang and his personality she thinks that yeah definitely ang is the one so that's why i'm sure like he she started trusting ang so much from the get-go and yeah and also uh katara it seems like <clears throat> like um yeah as i said he has a she has a lot of faith in ang and she wants to become strong and yeah that that's my first impression of katara and saka um <laughs> i have to say he was a little bit of a kind of you know what can i say like kind of like screaming and annoying in, in, a, in a way a little bit but i don't uh, like you know i don't feel much uh like negatively about him because obviously like they're kids you know like <laughs> like he he is a, like, kind of like that so but obviously like in, in the end we can kind of see like yeah he is uh what can i say like not so stubborn like as we see like after ang saved them he kind of changed his mind and said that okay let's go and save ang like if he's like was still stubborn at that time and kind of said that no we won't go save him i would probably have a lot more negative impression about him but because he did not do that because he's like you know like he said that okay like he saved us uh we're going to go save him like my impression of him is a lot more positive than i thought it would be so i like him you know uh, like you know you know he's like the <laughs> like the comedic type of a character <clears throat> like who uh like you know like uh, is kind of like quirky in a way <laughs> eccentric and it's kind of funny like <laughs> you know the, the things that he was he was doing and everything <laughs> like he's entertaining and I'm not actually sure if, like, you know, like, they said, like, uh, like he, he's not a waterbender. So I'm not actually sure how the power works here. Like, does people awaken waterbending or this is something that they have from the birth? Like, if people awaken, like, these powers, then who knows, maybe um, Saka will get some power later on. And if this is something inherent, like, you know, like, uh, like fr that is there from the birth, Probably he'll be uh, the character who is like, you know, physical, at, like, you know, who fights physically as like Katara said that you can fight. And he, it seems like he is like quite proficient in fighting, even though he kind of got beaten by Zuko, uh, Zuko. But, you know, Zuko got a lot of training and everything. And by the end of it, he was able to, like, you know, whack <laughs> Zuko with the boomerang, however way it happened. So, like, you know, like, it seems like he has potential, obviously. 
So maybe that, or maybe he'll like if this uh, uh, like uh, power, this avatar, these powers, water bending, these bending powers. If these powers came from uh, like you know birth, then he wouldn't get those. And if it was like something that people gradually awakened, then who knows? Maybe he might get some in the future. I'm not sure. I'm surely we. I'm sure we'll get some uh, future hints as to what's going to happen. And uh, yeah, as we saw, like. Uh, <clears throat> Ank kind of helped, uh, uh, not helped, but uh, like saved. Yeah, helped in a way. Like they saved the village, kind of like self-sacrificing in a way. And he went with them. Like uh, he knew that he won't be able to stop them. Like he himself would be able to get away from the mess. But he was sure that the villagers would get mixed up in this whole thing. So he said that, okay, like if I go with you guys, will you let them go? And Zuko kind of kept his promise and they went away. <clears throat> but by the end of it, like as we saw in the end, like Aang was so nimble and so strong. He was able to kind of outmaneuver all the like uh, guards that were posted in the um, ship. And he was almost able to defeat um, Zuko. But in the end, he kind of got like, you know, shoved into the water. Uh, which uh, like which was a little bit of a problem but he I'm not sure what actually happened there he kind of awakened or something like his eyes started glowing his his tattoos also started going that's one thing that we have to keep an eye out on and he started water bending and I was really surprised at that I thought maybe he only knows air bending and he's going to learn all the other things but probably not he he he, he has his power he only has to master it so that's probably it and it seemed a lot stronger like you know then like you know when he started water bending like that's no amateur like moves you know like it seemed he is pretty proficient with water bending as well uh so he'll have to like perfect it even more and we also saw katara trying to water bend in a way but unfortunately she is still struggling with it but I, in the end she kind of did it in a way he's she stopped the guards from coming and charging in she frees them and I'm guessing the uh, the thing that how the, the the water freezed instantly. I'm guessing it's so cold there. Like was that it? Like was that what Katara did, or was it something that she herself like you know deliberately did? Like like freezing them. Like was it because of the temperature, or was it her doing the freezing? I'm not actually sure about it. Maybe it was like did she freeze them? Yeah, that's a question. I I think. I have like like it seemed as if she frees them so water bending okay I guess maybe he, she can freeze them you know because it's like water bending so I'm guessing she can do anything with the water so that's why like she can even freeze it who knows that's interesting if like you know that it's one of if, if, if water bending me means that you can freeze it I don't know. I'm sure we'll get more answers in the like future episodes. Like what actually is this power? Because we have a lot uh, more things to learn. Like what actually is this power? How this power actually works? Like you know, it's like <clears throat> like can you do anything with the power? Like you know how Ang is kind of like you know uh, solidifying the air. Like just like that. Uh, maybe you can also uh, you know like. Um, <clears throat> Like in water bending, as Katara did, freeze the water or even like evaporate the water and make steam. Who knows? So I'm sure we like you know uh, I'll get more answers as time goes on. And uh, yeah, that was a really interesting uh, episode. The <clears throat> it was really an, like you know enjoyable. I have to say like this is barely the second episode. I really like the whole like you know um it is it, is what can I say like it, it's not like it's fast paced and, and not not like you know not that bad kind of fast pacing that kind of like you know skips everything it has its like you know it has its balance and it's still fast paced and everything is going happening so quickly and like uh, still it's, it feels as if we are not missing out on anything it's something like that so i really like that so yeah so i'm guessing they're going to start traveling now you know on appa uh, Katara, Appa, Saka, and Aang. Aang. And uh, yeah, and b before that, Aang needs to do some important things. He needs to go to the different places and ride llamas 
and what else did he say <laughs> you know do those kind of things and uh, <laughs> okay like you know maybe we'll really see it in the next episode like you know him riding llamas who knows like i'll have to wait for the next episode to see so yeah guys that that was it guys and uh, that was the first two episodes of avatar the last airbender it's really ent entertaining i have to say it it's kind of hooked like you know it's kind of um what can i say like hooked me from the first two episodes and i'm really interested in how this is going to go and also <clears throat> like um I did not have much problem following everything. It, it's quite a s simple enough story, and I did not have problem following the you know uh, the like you know there there's no subtitles, so I thought I might have some problems. But fortunately, nothing that sort happened. And yeah, so yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. So this was uh, my f uh, like reaction, my first reaction to Avatar: The Last Airbender, uh, episode number one and two. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and also be sure to subscribe if you are new to this channel or you haven't subscribed, uh, consider doing so as I'll obviously be uh, uploading two episodes every week this same day. And uh, I'm guessing this will be a long ride because uh, I think like it has um, three seasons, I think three or four seasons i'm not sure and every season has like 20 episodes so it will be quite a long time that i'll finish it like it'll take a long time to finish it so yeah so anyways guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another two episodes of avatar the last airbender so until then goodbye and have a nice day